YouTube, what's up? So, it's gonna be my first video, man. I wanna take y'all on this little journey with me. Mod in a 300. Um, few little things done to it so far. Nothing major at all. Um, this is a V6 model. I'm gonna put that out there first and foremost. You hear me? Um, I think it was a good idea considering I have two V8 vehicles. I'm trying to be an adult, you know. It's like, hey, let's get, want to get something that's uh, fuel efficient. Uh, and then I instantly regretted it. Like, uh, you know, it's a lane for V6s, but ah, it's just not the same, you know what I mean? But anyway, I'm going to walk y'all through what I've done to it so far. Tell y'all my plans with it. Um, you know, moving forward, but white on black was the theme. Uh, I saw this car, I was like, I gotta have that one. Um, again, like every car, you know, I've owned one other car besides these two that's in the garage, and they were white, it was white, black wheels, you know, just, uh, I don't know, it's, it's just my color. So, um, as far as exterior goes, we did the, um, the trunk spoiler, because uh, my, my car didn't come with one. It didn't have like the appearance package or nothing. So it was literally just basic white with the black wheels. And, um, you know, so had to add that as, to me as a must to have that. Uh, we did the trunk, um, I mean the uh, roof spoiler. Pretty nice touch, you know. Makes it look a little sporty, a little more sporty. Um, this is a 2019, by the way. Uh, we did black, and this is just a plastic cover, man. It, it literally 3M tape, just stick it right on there. Um, as far as the exterior, that's it. That's all I've done so far. Engine is completely stock. If you're not familiar, it's like 300 horsepower, 364 foot-pounds of torque, something like that. Um, definitely, uh, not the fastest car you'll ever drive. Uh, we got the diamond car mats as well. Don't mind the dirt on the floor, you know. Car hasn't been cleaned in like a week, so uh, probably take care of that today. As far as the interior, we did the uh, extended paddle shifts, white, obviously. Did these white as well. And uh, we have the L wire running through the center dash, and it's just white light. Um, I wanted to do blue to match the gauges, but I just felt like white would be a little more subtle, you know what I mean? And then it, it, if I decide to, you know, change from, you know, the white, uh, I won't be stuck with blue um, lights in here. So uh, yeah, that's that's it so far. Oh, I also have uh, the Flowmaster 40 series um, mufflers. So we did um, resonator delete, muffler delete, and we ran three inch pipe from the cats straight to the um, the flow masters. And I got them right at the tips. I don't know if y'all can see that. Yeah. My opinion, it sounds pretty good, you know. Definitely don't sound like a B8, but um, you know, it's something. You know, it just adds a little something to the car. Um, oh, and I forgot the... Uh, Honeycomb vinyl on the tail lights. Let you get a look at that. Looks pretty cool to me. I figured it'd be a good little touch, so we did that. And we tinted that as well. Uh, but that's it so far. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you a start. It's a cold start. Car hadn't been started today, so. Uh, let me get, I'm gonna get over here. Here you go. My bad, man, I had a phone call, but uh, yeah, here's the uh, cold start on the uh, 40 series Flowmasters. Sound pretty good in my humble opinion. You know, overstock. I think it's a pretty good addition. So I'm gonna set this down, give it a couple revs, let y'all hear that as well.
yeah, man. I think that sounds pretty good. You all can be the judge. Uh, yeah, those are 40 series. And uh, yeah, that's all we got so far on the, uh, on the Chrysler, man. This is also gonna be part of the channel. This is a 2008 uh, Crown Victoria P71. Uh, so this is the Interceptor. And I got it in the garage. I normally keep this car outside. I usually keep the Chrysler in here. Uh, I was about to straight pipe it. And I go to lift it up. You know, I got my little saw right there. Go to lift it up and then I realize I have a rear diff leak. Um, so that kind of put a pause on that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that taken care of before I dive back in it. But this car also completely stock. Um, all I did so far was put a radio in there. And I've had this car for well, a long time, but I just figured now we got three vehicles in here. Uh, it's about time to start having fun with something. So uh, this is gonna be, you know, my new project as well. So, you know, if y'all stick around, follow the boy, y'all get to see the process on this thing as well. And as far as the BMW, this was, this was the first car I purchased on my own credit. Uh, it wasn't my first car. Uh, my first car was a 2008 Cadillac DTS. Um, and my dad bought for me for joining the military. It's kind of like a gift, going away gift. Uh, but I got rid of that. And then again, this was the first car I bought on my own uh, credit. And this is a 2008 uh, 750 Li. Nothing done to it. Uh, except a tune. It's been tuned. I'm pretty sure the factory horsepower was like 365 or something like that. Tune brought it up to 430. So for what it is, and you know, from this era, this was a really fast car, like, you know, for its class and everything. Um, this is my baby, man. It's real dirty. I haven't started this car one time this year, so I'm sure it's dead, but, um, does have a few minor electrical issues these days, so that's primarily why it's been on ice up in here. Don't mind my garage either. I know, you know, it's a mess in here, but you know how that goes. Uh, so yeah, this will be part of the channel as well. Uh, trying to get this thing back road ready, 100%. Um, and again, the whole white on black thing. You see, I had the tail lights tinted. I had some wheels on it. Some black wheels. Let's see if I can get you a look. Yeah, my old lady bent them up pretty bad, so they had to come off. But those are 22 by 10 and a half on the back, 22 by 9, I think 9 and a half on the front. It was either 22 by 9 or 22 point, uh, 22 by 9 and a half on the front, I forget. But uh, big offset on the back. It really, really good stance with the wheels on it. Uh, it looked nice back then um but yeah man that's all we got so far again man uh y'all should like you should subscribe you know follow your boy we're gonna uh we're gonna get to some car shows man we have a lot of like big mopar meets down here so i'll probably bring the chrysler up there uh check those guys out and uh bring y'all along with me man you know uh, i want to say like the next mod is probably gonna be lowering it so we probably get some springs, bring it down a little bit. I'm guessing two inches maybe. Uh, cause that's a lot of gap in there, man. Not a big fan of that. You know, it sits up a little too high for what it is. So probably be the springs next. And then we definitely got to get this, these pipes, these tips off of here. Like I am no fan of that, you know whatsoever uh, i mean it doesn't look bad but it's just not my style you know so that's all i got man until next time bro y'all be easy